Meanwhile, the Nigerian police have defended its arrest and continued its detention of a journalist, Samuel Ogundike. Ogundike was arrested on Tuesday and has been accused of theft and unlawful possession of restricted and classified documents, which the police say is capable of jeopardizing the peace and security of Nigeria. A federal high court had ordered that he be remanded in police custody until the next hearing on August 20. The charges relate to his publication of the letter of Inspector General of Police Ibrahim Idris on the former Director General of the Department of State Services, Lawandara. The police have insisted that this is not a witch hunt, but human rights bodies, including Amnesty International, have condemned the arrest and called for his release. On Thursday, a civil court society coalition, Amumudondu, protested at the police headquarters in Abuja, demanding the unconditional release of the journalist. The IG of police must respect the law. And the, the law is clear. The Supreme Court has ruled that you cannot compel a journalist to disclose his source. You cannot, you cannot compel a journalist to disclose his source. And, and a journalist has the right to report what he sees and how he sees them. Samuel has been held for more than 48 hours. He has been deprived access to his lawyers. He has been charged before a court without access to lawyers, without legal representation. At the point of his arrest, he was beaten, bruised, and manhandled. This um, administration is increasingly showing intolerance for the press. This is not the first time that members of the press have been harassed in this manner. This is not the first time, I mean, only just now, Jones Abiri was only released yesterday after having been detained for two years. Um, and there are so many other instances like that. The police can't even, this current police force, can't even arrest and successfully charge a criminal. Someone, a senator jumped out of a moving police vehicle. But the reporter that is doing his job is in detention for three days. The senators who are engaged in various criminal activities, governors who are engaged in various criminal activities, are all under police protection. But those of us who are trying to make this country better, using our brains, using our professions, are being harassed by the police. So that is where we are here, to make it clear that they need to release Samuel Ogundikwe of premium times to us before we leave this place.